The civil unrest in Rakhine that happened end of March, 26th, 27th of March, uh, that targeted most organizations or all humanitarian organizations in Sitwe has been a, a big blow for all of us. Uh, and I feel, of course, frustrated from, from an ICRC point of view because we have built up, uh, very carefully built up an operation there over the last 18 months, uh, we've been very careful to liaise closely with the communities to make our work understood. We've been very careful to balance our assistance to both communities, uh, since both communities are affected by the communal violence. And to see such a, such a big operation brought to a halt, basically, within two hours is, of course, enormously frustrating and, and taxing also on our staff. And more importantly, uh, it leaves a big humanitarian gap in Rakhine State. Uh, a lot of people, thousands of people, are left without assistance, at least temporarily. The community violence in Rakhine has led to, in to, to increasing tensions uh, over, the, over the past years. Uh, and, and to work in that context means that we have to be very, very careful uh, about how we work and how well the work is accepted. Uh, we, have, we have tried to be very true to our principles of neutrality and independence and impartiality, opening our services to all uh, communities and communicating that to the communities themselves. I think it is an essential uh, ingredient to, to working in Rakhine. We have made it a point to keep a key uh, team in, in Rakhine, in Setwe to be able to liaise with the communities, to be able to liaise with the authorities and to start up programs again. Our intention is certainly to get back to the operational capacity that, that we had before. Uh, we've already been able to restart tentatively some of the programs we had, including uh, organizing together with the police uh, the most urgent referrals to hospitals and providing uh, much needed urgent water supplies to three camps in Pogto. So, so we're, we're slowly building up again and our intention is certainly to be back uh, on our feet very quickly.